Hi, I'm Karen Viginski, and welcome to our deep stretch yoga into restorative yoga with a bolster class. This is a hybrid class of some deep stretching so we can alleviate tension mentally, physically, and emotionally, and then completely rest with passive muscle release in restorative yoga poses. So you're gonna need a flat bolster for this one. And before we begin, I wanna share with you a community that I started called HELD. We practice live together with restorative yoga practices as well as yoga therapy practices. And this is a community specifically for those who identify as feminine. You can find all the details here or in the description below. Let's get started with this class. You're gonna bring your flat bolster across the middle of your mat. And we'll start with a supported low lunge. Let's step the left foot over top of the bolster into a lunge. Take your hands to the floor and tuck the right knee, uh, rather right toes under to lift the right knee. Get really long through that whole leg and then set the leg back down. Nudge the support of the bolster into the right thigh and relax the right toes. Now you'll likely be on top of your fingertips here. Depending on the availability of your legs today, it could feel better to bring your hands to your thigh. It could feel better to have your palms down to the floor. If possible, see if you can make a connection in your left armpit with your left knee. Snug on in there, and then begin to drop heavy into the left heel, tuck the chin down and in slightly, gazing down at the foot. And as you enter into this sensation, bring some of that wise mind quality into your practice. Meaning, will I regret this later? Do I feel safe? Can I smoothly breathe and maintain low body tension? And these are all the markers for you to know if you're going too far too soon. There's no goal here, there's no competition. Just relax into your body as it is right now. Now we'll move into a runner's lunge or lizard. So take your left hand to the inside of the left leg and heel toe that left leg out, giving yourself some space. Turn the toes out 45 degrees. Plant the palms again underneath the shoulders and sink into the back of the heart. This might be enough for you here. If it feels comfortable, safe, and you won't regret it later, and you can still smoothly breathe, then experiment with taking your forearms closer toward the floor. I'm not there at this moment in time, so I'm gonna stay on my palms. Loosen into the pelvis. Notice if you're gripping there, soften into the back of the heart, and let the chin draw down and in slightly. Use one more breath to soften and release tension. And then inhale and lift back up. Walk your hands toward you a little bit, straighten through the left leg, and now heel toe the left leg across the mat, coming into a supported pigeon. Drop the thigh onto the bolster and the shin onto the floor. I recommend taking the heel of the foot closer in toward you. And from this space, take a full breath in, really supported by the prop underneath you. On your exhale, lower to your forearms. You might stay here, dropping into the back of the heart. Or, Flare your elbows out to the sides, stack your hands, palms down, and set your forehead to the back of your hands. No matter your choice here, breathe smoothly and evenly. 
while there is some active stretch, also feel the support of the prop underneath you. Invite your breath to deepen, feeling it move into the whole back body. And as you breathe out, softening the belly, softening the heart. Let's find one more breath in here. Breathing out into relaxation, keep this sense of softness wherever you've cultivated that and bring yourself back up to your hands. Take your time, go slowly. Let's tuck the right toes under, push into the left knee, start to lift up from there. You can slide the bolster out so that you can easily bring your leg back in line with the right. And then bring the bolster back. We'll do that same series on the other side. So when you're ready, step your right foot forward into a supported low lunge. Start with your hands to either side of the front leg, Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee, get really long in your lunge, then set your leg back down and really support it with the bolster. Flatten the left toes. Staying here on the fingertips to start, if there's availability to bring your right shoulder and right armpit closer toward your right thigh, do so. Give your body some time to adjust. Loosening the grip of the fingers, maybe coming to the palms if that's available. If you feel any major resistance, notice if you can bring your breath to that resistance. Just become aware of where that is in the body. And think of the exhale washing through that space, allowing it to soften just a little. Migrate your right hand and arm to the inside of the right foot as we transition into lizard. Heel toe out through the right foot, toes point out 45 degrees, and give yourself some space with your palms under your shoulders. You can pause right here, softening into the elbow joints, letting the heart start to dip. Heavy into your right heel, know that this might be enough, so pause and breathe or maybe lowering down to forearms if that's available for you. Smooth out the breath. And relax any tension from your face. Sometimes we can unconsciously hold a lot of tension there in the mouth, the jaw, the eyes. Just relax with your next exhale, the whole face. Let's heel toe now and transition into supported pigeon. So right foot, comes across to the left, laying the shin bone down, the pelvis touches into the support of the bolster, hands come in front of you. Take a moment to just really allow the legs to feel held and soft, supported by the bolster, then exhale and lower down to forearms. 
or lower down with the head to the backs of the hands. As you find the position that works best for right now, just this moment right now, release any mental judgment or trying to control what could be, and just relax into what is. Fill up into the lungs, especially feeling the back body lift as you inhale. And exhale, soften toward the floor. Feel how nourishing it can be to just rest in silence, stillness, with only your breath. As you make your next breath in, start to think about moving. We'll engage into the left knee, into the right leg, push down into the palms to lift the heart. Start to lift up from there. You can slide the bolster out to make it easier for you to travel your right leg back. And then come to have a seat here on the heels for just a moment. Rolling the shoulders up, down, and back. Grab your bolster and move it lengthwise up the half of your mat. Turn around and we'll move into a supported reclining bound angle. Now we're going to do this without props under the knees, which you would normally find in a restorative yoga class. So if this does not feel restful and it's simply too much, I'll show you what to do instead. So bringing the bolster up to you, I'd like you to create a little bit of space in between you and the bolster, and then just lower on down. As you do that, lift up through the tailbone, set it back down, and find a little bit of length at that low back area. The palms turn up, arms to a V shape. Relax into the thighs. If this is too much, the inner thighs are too tender, here's what I'd like you to experiment with instead. Bring your knees up, slide your ankles to underneath your knees, and relax into a cross-legged position. If this takes out all of that tenderness, just stay here. If this too just feels not right for right now, then you could try extending the legs long into supported fish pose. So many options, find your way to the one that feels most restful for the legs. Close the eyes if they're not already. Let go of all control of your breath. With your arms hanging by your sides, 
your chest lifted and supported. Give yourself permission to do nothing. Permission to just rest. To end our practice for now, let's find another breath in deeper than before, followed by a slow sigh out the mouth. Wherever your legs are in their position, I invite you to use your hands Lift your knees up to the ceiling, plant your feet flat. And through your forearms, tucking your chin slightly in, either roll off to a side or just simply come upright into whatever comfortable seat works for you. With your palms together at your heart. Close the eyes for a moment just to honor this time we shared together and all of the realized beings who have brought the knowledge of yoga to us. Feel into your relaxation and your peace as you open your eyes and relax the hands. What a pleasure it is to be here with you to take this time to relax. And if you'd like to take the journey with live classes to relax even more with more specific guidance for you as you are right now, then I invite you to join HELD. Like this video, subscribe, visit my website, karenbeginski.com for more yoga practices using a bolster, as well as all of the other restorative yoga props. Look forward to seeing you soon.